Hi guys! Welcome to my channel! As you guys know, on this channel, sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability. So I'll leave you some tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable. So there have been a couple things on my mind when it comes to YouTube. When it comes to actually making it on YouTube, do YouTubers really give you all the details you need to succeed? And then of course, your personality, your niche, whatever it is, it's just left up to the YouTube algorithm so that if you're bubbly, if you're cute, if you're funny, if you're creative, if you're of a certain demographic, might I add, if you have a certain accent, yeah, put all of those in a pot and let it boil and you have the perfect ingredients for a successful YouTube channel, right? You could go even farther. You could be homeless. You could live in a van. You could, could be showing your family. What's the perfect ingredients, really and truly, to be successful today on YouTube? Do you use a Canon 70D, 80D, a Mac 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? Does it matter? Does it matter? I'm a bit chilly. So I'll put on this. Well, just, just to feel a bit warmer. It's May 25th today. And of course, yesterday was the passing of Tina Turner. My idol. She inspired me in so many ways. She made me think that the topic of discussion today, um, being successful on YouTube, she just was my go-to. I imitated the heck out of this woman. Seriously, her dress, her clothes, she made me see how beautiful a denim crop jacket looks. Man, the 80s, the 90s, man, to me, they were the best years. And every generation has their own years, but that for me, I wore what she wore. In I still gravitate to outfits, shoes like this. See? See the way it looks? See the style? Yeah, definitely me. And so when it comes to leather, Tina, she brought leather outfits to life. She simply the best. And that is why today I wanted to delve into how we could be the best on a platform like this. Because for Tina Turner, she went through the ringer and she rose up at an age, 40 years or so, when she made her really great comeback album, What's Love Got To Do With It? Guys, ah, ah, ah. So, she just inspired this video today as well. It, she was, she was it for me. She reinvented herself in her forties. When one would think that, oh, she's water under the bridge. She, she, she wouldn't make it without a man, without a husband. The age factor 
it's an issue in today's society, even on YouTube, ageism is rampant. If they see you're a certain age, they tell you go sit down. And that could play a role in your success, whichever way you define success on YouTube. So that is why I wanted to discuss how one becomes successful on YouTube in an era of ageism when in most instances you have never been a pop star or even famous in any sense, a public figure, like most of the success stories that I've noticed on here, many have been on previous platforms where they have made a name for themselves or they have been on a TV show or some reality something or just have had some degree of success somewhere before they jump on here and they were able to catapult to the top because of that previous exposure. So the question is, can one be successful on YouTube today in an era of ageism, beauty standards still is a thing, believe it or not, diversity is also a thing. Yeah, I'm going there. And yeah, I'm getting hot. So I need to take this off. <laughs> yeah, they're still very much at the forefront of what could actually make you a success in certain areas. And while they are not the only variables that play into it, many other variables factor into what may likely make you successful on here. And some may say no, it's not, but you let me know if you agree because it's just difficult and i don't know if oftentimes when we say we are beginning a youtube channel that we know all the information to make it a, a viable secondary or supplementary source of income by all means, if it's your hobby, let it continue to be your hobby and don't have any expectations. Just do it for the love of it. And I find that's what I do often these days, just for the love of it, just knowing that I can provide some inspiration and information with respect to the niche in which I am in. So, yeah. I find this outfit looks bulky here. When you are afar, it looks a bit different, right? 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 <laughs> Just ask. Does it matter if you are not actually promoting your video? Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I might be onto something there because I've had the camera. I've had that. I've used the phone. Oh, oh, maybe is if you show some more skin, right? And really like do yeah. <laughs> But not, not on, no, not on OF. No judgment, but no. You don't need that. It's, it's all good. Plus, you got on here because it's a hobby, right? And it just happened to, by serendipity, to turn into a 
business opportunity that you just pounced on. And Bob, Tom, Chanel, Gucci, Homes, they are all your uncles now. So, what's the perfect ingredients? What's the recipe? And many of the top content creators would say, just go for it, just do it. But from my experience, I've tried all their suggestions and maybe it's just me. Maybe people just don't like me. Maybe it, um, maybe I'm not funny. Maybe I'm boring. Maybe my topics are too controversial. Maybe people are not ready for sustainability. Maybe because, you know, people don't want to hear the truth. They, so they like to run from it. Maybe I'm too controversial. Maybe, yeah, maybe I'm not their, just not their cup of tea. Or maybe it's because I'm not promoting my videos. So, what I've realized is that it's not just the camera that you have. I have a 70D. And you could use your phone. So, I'll tell you that as well. If you want to start a channel, use your phone. And I'm not the right person to ask because I'm not considered a success here on YouTube. But I wanted to be part of the conversation in hope that I would be more enlightened to know what to do. So I've done all the things, I believe, except doing a lot of promotion of my videos. And oftentimes, what I would say to you is that it's it's not that you are not funny or you are not likable. Sometimes you're not aiming for funny anyway. It depends on your niche. It's not that you don't have a good camera. Actually, a phone would do. It's just that what I find in my experience that YouTube is a huge business. And if you're not spending to promote your videos, it's not likely to get recommended on the recommended page and not many people your 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 video would just fall into a dark hole on the web in the youtube world the algorithm would just skip jump run wash you away and yeah because you're not promoting your video it's YouTube is a business. So that, I believe, is the key. But the only issue I have with that is that sometimes I feel like when you do promote your videos and you do get on that recommended page and people see your videos and you gain more subscribers, there's also something that's not right. It's like something is still not working in the sense that you're not getting the views, the ratio of views to subscribers. It ain't nothing. So why? Why? When I promote my videos and I get new subscribers, is it YouTube just giving them to me as a thank you for spending money to promote your video? I, I'm puzzled. These are really, these are really, really questions I do want answered. If anybody knows, please tell me. I just make this quick video because I'm seeking answers and I'm not here to be funny if I happen to be funny fine but I am here to just educate to hope that you learn something to hope that you get inspired by what I'm doing at the same time it would be nice 
if the video is being recommended to many people because while if I inspire one person that's awesome because when you change the life of somebody it's absolutely yeah sometimes it's just what you could ask for as opposed to none but it would be also great to inspire many more so i hope that somebody has the answers out there and you could let me in it would be nice to know you know and at the same time hope that my videos continue to inspire that one person <laughs> and I hope that one person enjoy the video but I am absolutely happy to have a thousand of you and let me use this opportunity to say hey hit me down in the comment below let the sister know where you're from which part of the world you're from and what's your hobbies because that would help me to target my information and the way I do my videos to you a little bit better so yeah so I hope that you will do so and I do anticipate inspiring you for more videos to come because this is my hobby this has always been a passion of mine. I actually got this from my mom, watching her and seeing her being sustainable all her life. And of course, it's also because I realized that not many people know about the simple things that they could do that could make a difference, that they don't have to go and plant 10 trees although that's nice but you could do little things in your life that would be sustainable it's the little things at times that count because they add up so anyway guys yeah now you know something about me so if you want to know more as we progress on this journey subscribe share like and let me know where you're from below love you guys and i'll see you soon take care bye